I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. And in this demo, I'll explain how the default values work in Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint and Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint add-in. Default values are set in the configuration page. The options selected here will be applicable to all new tasks. And as you see, the task form is using the default values if you don't change anything here. I'll go through the options one by one. For responsible, the default value is the current user. Select empty if you want users to always select the person that should be responsible for the task. You can also select a name and then that person will be selected as a responsible for the task. This is useful if one team member always checks the tasks first. The default value for start date is the current date. If you select the empty option, a date must be selected each time a new task is created. The default value for due date is the current date plus one. And if you select the empty option, a date must be selected. The projects are sorted alphabetically by Kanban Task Manager. And for project, the default value is the first project in the list. Here you might want to select empty or another project. The priority field has no empty option and the default value is normal. I'll not change anything here now. Instead, I'll create a new task so that you can see the selection in the default task form. The task is assigned to the person I'm logged in as. The start date is today and the due date is tomorrow. The project is building a playground, which is the first option in our example data and the priority is normal. Now I'll show you an exception. When you filter by project responsible or priority, the filtered value will be default. So when I filter the project by health and safety program and then create a new task, this project will be default instead of the first option. And if I filter for high priority, the new task will have high priority by default. Thank you for watching this demonstration.